What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, but I've been catching up on recent podcast episodes, so I haven't been able to fully talk about it. I've mentioned it on stream. I've mentioned it in the podcast, but I want to make a full video talking about this because Roquan Smith requested a trade out of Chicago, and I believe that he is the perfect player to try and trade for. All right, and I'm going to go into all of those reasons in this video, but let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Should the Ravens go after Roquan Smith? Um, but let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So if you don't know, Roquan Smith is a linebacker out of the, you know, from the Chicago Bears. He went to the University of Georgia. Um, he was the eighth overall pick in 2018. Uh, and he's on his rookie deal. I believe he's going into his fifth year um, of that rookie deal. So, you know, he would definitely need to be extended if a team wants to keep him for a, a long period of time. But he is one of the best linebackers in the NFL. And he is better as a pass coverage linebacker than he is as a regular linebacker as a whole. He came out of Georgia and it was like, okay, this guy can stop the pass. In the NFL, has he been amazing at stopping the run? No, he hasn't, but he's been very effective um, you know, as a linebacker as a whole. Now, one thing that I want to point out, statistics as a linebacker do not mean very much. Okay, so people a lot of times will look up, oh, well, this guy had this many tackles. Getting tackles does not mean you are a good player. Blake Martinez is not a very good linebacker, and he's led the NFL in, in tackles, I want to say two years. But back when he was playing with the Green Bay Packers, everyone was like, oh, Blake Martinez, you know, on the Packers, he's so good. I'm a Stanford fan. I love Blake Martinez. He's not that good. He ended up getting a huge payday from the Giants. Giants regretted that decision because they were like, wait a minute. Yeah, he led the league in tackles, but he's not that good. Roquan Smith, um, you know, has had 100 tackles every year of his career. But again, it's not super valuable. He's had an interception every year of his career. I think that shows, you know, that he he knows what he's doing in pass coverage. Um, you know, he has, a, you know, multiple sacks every year of his career. But the biggest thing is that pass coverage. Because when you look at the Baltimore Ravens defense right now and you look at their front seven, I like Patrick Queen. I believe Patrick Queen is a good football player. But the biggest area that Patrick Queen needs to improve on is coverage. He is he is very good when it comes to blitzing. He can shoot gaps. He can stop the run. I really like his game with all of that. But one of the biggest problems the Ravens have had over the last two, three seasons has been the linebacker coverage. It's just too many guys are open all the time, whether it's covering a running back, whether it's covering a tight end, guys are open. And the Ravens like to run a lot of man coverage, and it puts those linebackers in really bad spots. That is why Josh Bynes was so valuable to the Ravens, because it was like, oh my gosh, he's not horrible in pass coverage as a linebacker. We can play him. And then it was like, oh my gosh, we need him no matter what out on the football field in case he needs to you know, cover somebody, because Patrick Queen has been a liability in coverage. Now, I like Patrick Queen. Again, you know, I do think he will improve. He's very young in his NFL career. He's very young in his football career as a whole. Um, and I want to say, you know, just in terms of age, he's actually younger than Adafi away. So do not sleep on Patrick Queen. I'm not trying to slander him. But Roquan Smith is an established top 10 linebacker in the NFL. Like, I think, you know, you can look up rankings and things like that, and they should all have him top 10. A lot of people have him around 7, 8. I think he's just outside the top tier. I think the top tiers are the Fred Warners, the Eric Kendricks. Um, you know, you can say the Darius Leonards, even though, you know, he's technically an outside linebacker, but he's more of a coverage guy. Uh, you know, Micah Parsons. But outside of that, it's like, okay, you you can throw Bobby Wagner in there. You can throw, you know, Levante David, these older guys. I'm going to say this right now. I would rather have Roquan Smith than Bobby Wagner. I would rather have him than Levante David. Um, there's very few linebackers I would rather have. And I think I think this is, look, looking at it, it's almost a benefit. I'm fine if we don't re-sign him. I think, I think a lot of people look at Roquan Smith and they say, hey, if you trade for this guy, you have to extend him. I don't think that's necessarily the case. All right, and because when I'm looking at it, the Ravens in their situation, they're obviously trying to extend Lamar Jackson. You know, that's the deadline. People are talking about it. Oh, my goodness, every single day. Lamar says he's not negotiating his contract during the season. That's a good thing for the Ravens. Like, that's like, okay, he's focused on playing. 
good. Um, but a lot of people say, well, when we're negotiating that contract, we shouldn't, you know, start signing other people. You cannot, one, you can't pigeonhole yourself into that situation. You can't say we're not going to sign anybody because we need to figure out if we're signing Lamar Jackson and how much we're signing him to. You can't do that. You have to say, okay, we're expecting to give Lamar Jackson this amount of money. They know what money, amount of money they're going to give him if they give him that contract. It may be a range. It may be, okay, we know we're giving Lamar between 40 and $50 million. Set aside that money, look at the rest and say, okay, what can we do with this extra money? And I'm going to say this right now. I would much rather pay Roquan Smith than Marcus Peters. I would much rather do that. So when we're looking at it, Marcus Peters and Roquan Smith, if the Ravens bring in Roquan Smith, they can extend him and be like, okay, sorry, Marcus Peters, unless you take a pay cut, you're not going to be able to stay on this defense because, you know, as good as you are, we would rather have that certified front seven because we still have really solid cornerback. You know, we if Marcus Peters was our number one, I would want Marcus Peters. But we have Marlon. We have young assets that the Ravens, you know, they look to be relatively solid. Uh, obviously, they're going to develop in, you know, Pepe Williams and, you know, uh, Jalen Armour Davis, Brandon Stevens as well. Looks like the Ravens are kind of building up that new cornerback core. Use that money that a lot of people are saying, hey, give it to Marcus Peters. Give that to Roquan Smith. But even if you don't re-sign him, you're getting a year of great linebacker play. To go along with, in my opinion, the best secondary in the NFL, Roquan Smith would make the Ravens front seven no longer a liability. It would put them probably in the top 10. I just talked about um, on AFS, I talked about you know the top five front sevens in the NFL. And it would be, I don't think it would be top five, but it would definitely start to get in that conversation. Because you would look at the way that the team is out, right? You know, across the line, you would have Adafe, you would have Calais, you would have... Uh, Travis Jones and Matabike. You can obviously switch. Oh, well, sometimes it would be Justin Houston. Totally fine. Switch them out whenever. Then in the linebackers, uh, you know, playing off the line, you would have Ty Spouser, very solid in coverage. You'd have Patrick Queen, very good at blitzing, very good at shooting gaps. And you would have Roquan Smith. That automatically, like Roquan Smith replacing uh, Josh Bynes or Malik Harrison or whoever, whoever ends up, you know, winning that spot is a massive upgrade. That is the one of the very, that may be the only position on this Ravens roster where you could bring in someone and just be like, that's a huge upgrade. Because right now the wide receivers available, obviously if the Ravens traded for Tyree Kill, massive upgrade, but we can't trade for Tyree Kill. The players that the Ravens can get, Roquan Smith is by far the biggest addition that they could make. They could get the money for it. If they end up, um, you know, extending him, they can switch that money around and they can create cap space and they can actually not have to pay him a lot on the cap this year. They can have a lot in, you know, signing bonus and they can delay it. They can front load it. However, they want to do Lamar Jackson's contract, do the opposite uh, to give themselves space. But I see a lot of people saying, oh, I don't think we should get Roquan Smith. We already have Patrick Queen. You can have two great linebackers. Honestly, you should have two great linebackers because it just allows them to play off of each other. There's no weaknesses in the middle of your defense, okay? Patrick Queen is very solid. But if he was playing next to a Roquan Smith, Ravens all of a sudden have a top 10 linebacker core uh, in the NFL. Right now they're in probably the bottom 10, maybe bottom 5. Even the greatest linebackers of all time played with very solid other linebackers. It's never been a, oh, well, we only had one guy, right? You know, we had we had Brown, and I think Brown also played with Ray Lewis, but Brown and Mosley, right? You know, Peanut, Owasso, and Mosley. Um, we've had a lot of really solid linebacker duos, and that's what makes it work. Having the duo, you don't want it to be, oh, well, we have one guy. Well, you have two linebackers, um, especially because the Ravens typically play a 3-4 defense. That means two of your middle linebackers, you're going to have a Mike, you're going to have a Will. If you only have a Mike, the Will spot's going to be lacking, and you don't want that. 
all of a sudden the Ravens can throw Roquan, put him at Mike, let Patrick Queen play Will, where he actually played really well last season. And this would be, a, I think, a clear, clear top three defense in the NFL. Like, I think already they're a top five defense. Um, they could be a top one defense. But, you know, we're still yet to see how certain guys perform. But if they added Roquan Smith, this is a top three defense, probably the best defense in the NFL. If you have a chance to make your team have the best of something, the best defense in the NFL, and we already know they're going to have a good offense. Why? Because they have Lamar Jackson. Give Lamar Jackson the best defense in the NFL, a defense that can force turnovers, cover. Like, who do we try and beat in the playoffs? It's the Bills. It's the, it's the Chiefs. It's the Bengals. These are all passing teams. We need pass coverage linebackers, and Roquan Smith is exactly that. Roquan Smith, Eric DaCosta, make those calls. And I will also say the Chicago Bears have reportedly like said no teams are allowed to contact him because it would be tampering uh, because they don't want teams negotiating deals with him. And then he goes, no, I don't want to go to that team. I want to go to this other team because they'll give me more money. They don't want that to happen. you got to trade for Roquan Smith. And then you got to try and work out that deal. And I'm fine if they don't work out the deal this season. If they work out the deal at the end of this season and don't re-sign Marcus Peters, I'm completely okay with that. And I love Marcus. I love that duel between Marcus and Marlon. But Roquan Smith is, is special. He was a top 10 pick for a reason. He came into the league and everyone was like, that is exactly why he's a top 10 pick. Let me know what you guys think about Roquan Smith. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content, and I will see all of you again tomorrow.